What's happening guys? Welcome to part three on the series on how to build a machine learning model using Watson Machine Learning Studio. So in the first couple of videos, we looked at how to set up our machine learning environment, how to import and visualize our data. In this video, what we're going to be doing is the good bit. So we're going to start cleaning and feature engineering uh, features on our data set. Now, the cool thing about this is that you can use a tool called Data Refinery inside of Machine Learning Studio to do all of this. So rather than using pandas and slicing and dicing our data frame, you can actually just do it all inside of our data platform here, which is actually pretty cool. And there's no code involved. So, I mean, you can apply R scripts, but you can do a lot of it without it. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So from where we left off last time, we're just going to go back to our dashboard and hit use car pricing model. And what we're going to be doing now is spinning up a new service. Now, as I mentioned, this is our data refinery service. So this is what's going to allow us to do our feature engineering and data cleaning. So let's hit add to project and go to data refinery flow. So this data refinery flow is basically what's going to allow us to mess around with our data, remove stuff, build features, clean data. Now you can use R scripts in here as well. So if you wanted to create new features or do some more advanced uh, feature engineering, you can do that. I mean, there's certain amounts you can keep going with data engineering and feature cleaning for quite some time. So we're going to do some pretty basic cleaning and, and feature engineering, but you get the idea about what you can do here. Now, once you've created your data refinery flow, you can hit data assets. And you can see that we've got our data set there. So we're going to click that same CSV. And we'll hit add. And that will load up. Alrighty, so this is our data refinery view. So from here, you can do a bunch of stuff. Now, what we're going to be doing is some pretty basic uh, feature engineering, data cleaning, and sort of just data preparation. Now, the first thing that we want to do is we want to convert or make sure that our data is in the right format. So you can see here that price, year, and mileage are all represented as strings. Now, the first thing that we want to do is we want to convert those to integers because that's the correct representation for those data types. So to do that, we can hit operation and we can hit convert column type and select our column. So we'll select price, we'll hit next and we'll leave it as integer and hit apply. Now, each time you create or, or change a particular feature or apply an operation, you're actually going to have a data cleaning step set up here. And you can see here that because we've converted that column type, it's actually shown up here that we've converted the price column from string to integer. So every single time you do that, you're actually going to have a record of each of those steps. Now, if you do something wrong and you want to remove it, you can actually just hit the garbage bin and it will undo what you just did. Now, I don't think you can redo it, but it's actually relatively easy to redo. So again, we'll just hit calculate column type, we'll hit integer, and that will sort us out. You can see that it's been re-added. Now, another way to quickly change column types is just hit the three dots and then hit convert column, and we're gonna change it to integer. And so we're gonna do that for year and we'll do that for mileage as well. Perfect, alrighty. So now we've got all our data sets looking like the correct data type. So we've got price, year, mileage, city, state, VIN, make, they're all strings. That shouldn't be too bad. And we've got model over here as well. Don't forget about that. Now, what we're going to do quickly is we're going to remove our duplicates because remember when we did our data cleaning, we noticed that there were some duplicate values based on the VIN. So we're gonna remove those. And let's just go back and we want to select the right column. Let's jump out of that and let's jump out of that operation. So we're going to click VIN, hit operation, and we're going to remove duplicates. And then let's hit apply. So that's now removed our duplicate VIN. So remember we saw that in our, when we were describing our data set, there were duplicates of our VIN. So those are now being stripped out. 
Now, we don't actually need the VIN feature because it's unique. It's not actually going to boost our model performance. I mean, you could leave it in if you want, but I'm going to remove it because it's unique. It's not going to help us with our model training. So let's strip that out so we can right click the three dots. Or sorry, click on the three dots and hit remove. And you'll see that we've now removed our VIN. And now we're also going to filter our data set to where our mileage is greater than I mean, we took a look at a thousand and we also took a look at a hundred. This is a little bit subjective. And again, it's part of the model building process. So for now, I think we'll remove any car that has less than a thousand miles of mileage. So we can do that again with another operation. So we'll hit operation and we'll go to filter and we'll change our column to mileage and we'll change our operator to Basically, we're going to say we want cars that have greater than a thousand miles. We'll say a thousand and we'll hit apply. So that will now strip out all the cars that have less than a thousand miles of mileage. And now what we're also going to do is rather than having a year feature, I think it'll be more valuable if we have an age feature. So what we can do to, to actually create that new feature is use an R operation here. Now, this is just a little R bar here. So anything, a lot of the functions that you have in R, you can still apply those. So if you wanted to, or if you're an R wizard, you can sort of do all of that good stuff in here as well. I should probably add that if you don't want to use data refinery, you can still use your notebook to do a lot of your data cleaning and just dump out another CSV into the Watson Studio machine learning environment. But the data refinery flow is pretty cool because you can apply it relatively easily. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the mutate function. And we're basically going to say with year, year we want to create a new column called vehicle age. And we want it to be equal to 2019 minus the year. Gosh, typing is not my forte. And let's just clean that up. So we want our vehicle age to be equal to 2019, so the current year minus the year. So that will give us the age of the vehicle rather than just a year value. So it's a little bit more representative of what we're looking for. Again, you can leave year, but it's just a nicer way to sort of identify the, the age of the car. And to run it, we just hit apply and we should have a new feature pop up here now. And you can see we've now got the vehicle's age. So let's just double check. So this car's was made in 2009, it's 10 years old, that seems to be pretty correct. Now, because we've got actually quite a few records in this, what we might actually do is we might cut down our data set that we're actually working with. So we've got a large number of Acuras, so maybe we'll just filter it on Acura for now. So why don't we do that? So let's filter, and again, we're going to go make contains Acura. Okay, so that should just leave us with the Acura vehicles. And because we've also got vehicle age, we should probably remove year because we don't really need that anymore. So we can hit the dots and we can hit remove. So now we've got nine data cleaning steps. So we've converted the column types. So remember, we converted price to an integer, year to an integer, mileage to an integer, and we also removed our duplicate VINs. We removed the VIN feature because it's unique. We don't want that. We filtered out our data set for cars which had greater than 1,000 miles of mileage, so we we're getting slightly older cars. We also created our new vehicle age feature and we also filtered our data set for Acura and last but not least we removed year. So now we're up to nine data cleaning steps and that really wraps up our data cleaning. So that's sort of given us a preview of what it's going to look like but what we actually want to do now is apply all of these steps over our entire data set. So to do that we want to run our data refinery flow. Now relatively simple because you've done a lot of the hard work already you just need to hit the play button and from here you can change the output so right now our 
clean data set is going to be called truecarlistings.csv underscore shape.csv. So we can just call it uh, cleaned data set. Right, and hit the tick. And basically, as soon as we save and run this, it's going to generate our new CSV and apply each one of our data cleaning steps as well as our feature engineering steps. So we can hit save and run flow. And this is going to pump out another CSV and it should appear where we had our original CSV data set inside of our dashboard. So if we hit continue working and go back to our dashboard, once that flow's finished running, you should be able to see it under assets. And you can see it's actually there now. Cool. Alrighty, so that wraps up data cleaning and feature engineering. In the next video, we're gonna get onto the good stuff. So creating the machine learning model. Now, this is actually relatively straightforward in what's a machine learning studio. So stay tuned, it's gonna be great. If you like this video, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. You're doing me a huge favor. Thanks guys, peace.